Welcome back to Master Glass. I am your host, Livio. It is great to see you. Today, I have an episode that is dedicated to a really cool classic cocktail called the Negroni Sbagliato. Now, the Negroni Sbagliato, which basically means mistaken Negroni, has been around since the 1970s. However, uh, as of recently, Emma Darcy, who is the star of HBO show House of Dragons. What's your drink of choice? A Negroni. I was gonna say the same thing. Bagliato. Yeah. Mm. With Prosecco in it. Oh, stunning. Yeah. And since then, the popularity of this drink has incredibly skyrocketed, even though it's about a 45 year old drink. So, let me show you how to make it. Um, I'm going to make two different versions here. And the reason why is because, in essence, this drink here was probably made with spumante. And spumante is a dry, sparkling wine made, from Italy, made in Italy. Spumante means frizzy, and, a, um, and it can be made in any region of Italy, and, uh, and it can be made from any type of grape. However, more than likely, uh, if you're drinking it today, you might encounter a version that's made with Prosecco. Now, Prosecco is a different wine. The bubbles go in there a little bit differently than in a Spumante. Um, Prosecco can only come from two regions of Italy, and it has a guaranteed denomination uh, for the wine itself. So the two are very different, but they're also kind of relatives. So I just want to try them both and see which one I feel is better or if there is any difference. Now, when you're making a Negroni Sbagliato, I start with the mistake. And the mistake was that Mirko Stocchetto, who was the bartender of the legend, bartender and owner of the legendary Bar Basso in Milano, which is an institution, he in essence picked up a bottle of spumante instead of gin and made a Negroni and realized that the mistake was actually a happy one. So I'm gonna start with the mistake. And the reason why I'm gonna do that is I want the bubbles on the bottom to start pushing up aroma of the other two ingredients. And it's gonna require me to mix it less. So in order to get one ounce or 30 mils in here, I'm just gonna go with a slow pour and a four count. One, two, three, four, just like that. As I mentioned, the second version here which chances are is what you're gonna get uh, more commonly here in America, is gonna have Prosecco. And the reason is because Prosecco is a more versatile sparkling wine. It's used in the Bellini, it's used in mimosas, it's used in other cocktails, it's used in the spritz. So here I'm gonna go ahead and do one, two, three, four as well, okay? Now the bubbles already seem a little bit different. So I have one ounce or 30 mils of sparkling wine. And then to that, I'm gonna add one ounce or 30 mils of Campari from Milan, created in 1862. What is Campari? It's a bittersweet aperitivo, which means something you drink before a meal. It can also help as a digestivo, which means to stimulate your digestion. But I find that it's a little more um, effective before a meal. So this is gonna be perfect right here. The Negroni Sbagliato, of course, is an offshoot of the Negroni, which is a highly boozy aperitivo cocktail. This one here is just a little bit more of a drier, uh, lower in alcohol version to drink. Now, the glass that I have chosen here um, is a tiny version of the glass that they serve it at at Barbasso. If you go to Barbasso, uh, they have this custom made, really tall, a stemmed glass with a really big uh, mouth in it. And I wanted to do something a little different here because I really wanted to have something that looked like it, but I don't have those gigantic glasses. So I'm gonna use this here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move these here and I'm gonna give them both a little mix, just like that. There's one and there's two. Okay, and then I'm gonna just set these over here so that you can see me cut the garnish. And to do that, the garnish is a very simple slice of an orange. Um, the mouth of the glass here isn't so big, so I'm gonna try to capture smaller little wheels here. Now I know if you're a bartender out there, you're really tempted to do the peel or a flamed peel. Um, these, this cocktail here, and I have the same opinion with the Negroni, 
really doesn't need much bartender intervention. The bartender's intervention comes in making it and in offering that hospitality and that smile. But it doesn't really need you to flame the peel or quote unquote improve it. It's already a time tested classic. And sometimes we just have to really um, honor how they were made. I'm excited to let you know that we have launched a spirits course on MasterYourGlass.com. While you're there, you can also find this t-shirt in the shop. You can find the Cocktail Clarity cocktail book. You can also find some free resources such as flashcards. Just go to MasterYourGlass.com and the course is already heavily discounted, but if you enter the code MYG Spirits, it'll get discounted even more. Let's get back to the video. Now over here to the right, I have the version that is made with the uh, Spumante, and to the left, I have the version with the Prosecco. Uh, they look the same, but let's see if they taste the same. Just gonna check the aroma real quick and see if there's really any difference. Hmm. Not really, basically the aroma is dominated by the, or the nice fresh uh, slice of orange. Let's go ahead and try this one. Very good. Okay, so what I am tasting here is a little bit of that tart, acidic component that's coming from the sparkling wine. In this case, again, it's Bomante. Uh, but then that bitterness kind of kicks in from the Campari and also a little bit more of that acidity uh, that's probably coming from the sweet vermouth. Let's try the version here with Prosecco. Lighter lighter it has less body weight interesting let me try this again hmm. yes so this version here is more i want to say zippy more acid citrus forward this version here is a little more buttery now the reality is i am going to have a really hard time finding somebody that's going to like this version and not like this version. So the verdict when it comes to your sparkling wine, if you ask me, is use what you have and you'll be fine. Chances are the Prosecco will be a little bit more versatile uh, for mixing. So if you're mixing other cocktails, maybe the Prosecco is the way to go. And perhaps the Spumante is more for just a glass of sparkling wine as you would drink uh, French champagne. And so depending on what your purpose for the rest of the bottle is gonna be, you might wanna pick. Now in Milan, there is one other thing that you might occasionally get as well, and that is a dash of Angostura bitters. Let's try that here, and let's try that here. And I'm gonna give this a sip as well to see if there's a version that I like better. Okay. Mm. Okay, well, so I know it's a common thing, even in Italy, to add that Angostura in there. This is the great example of what I was talking about earlier, of when I don't feel like the bartender intervention in that case is important. Uh, so I would not put the bitters in there. I would drink it directly the way it was originally made. What I would do is I would maybe add a little bit of little snacks in what is Italy is called the aperitivo. And the aperitivo isn't just the drink you're drinking, it's the drink with the small bites. And it's basically the ritual where you socialize, you have these small bites, you drink something bitter that's gonna stimulate your appetite, your mouth is gonna water, just like mine is right now. And uh, by the way, I do have another episode that talks about uh, the Negroni's Bayato. So you heard it right here. I was talking about it before it was cool. And that is a video about 14 different variations to the Negroni cocktail. Uh, we will leave the link in the description so that you can check that one out as well. Uh, if you did like this episode of Master Your Glass, please do give it a like. If you really liked it, why don't you share it? And if you really, really, really liked it and you haven't yet, why don't you subscribe to the channel and come back to Master Your Glass with me, Livio, and I'll give you expert instruction for everyday consumption.